Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Acroflam coming back with another video for y'all today. And uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that y'all can be updated every time that I make a new Acro video. And let's see what we have going on today. So some more flows, some fun flows for y'all. I'm going to just kind of let it play until... There's something I need to talk about. This was actually a flyer I think I practiced with in one of my first videos. I'm not sure if this was before or after we did that practice, I can't remember. <laughs> I'll probably be adding like, you know, some music and stuff later on. I'm um, just trying to get a good amount of videos up beforehand, so practicing monkey roll here, trying to get it down. Coming into a cartwheel that way. I think we're practicing monkey roll, I'm not too sure, I think that's what it was. <laughs> yep, looks like we got it that time. So that was monkey roll. I mean, not monkey roll. Monkey frog roll, sorry. So there's a monkey roll and there's a monkey frog roll. I got to keep remembering that because I always get the two confused and I always want to call one the other. And then so someone else is like, oh, yeah, 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 monkey roll. And it's like, nah, that's not the one I was referring to. A monkey frog roll is where they do their shoulder stand first and then um, flip back into that reverse throne positioning. Monkey roll is actually thrown to reverse throne, so just a easy transition, kind of moving from one side or from throne to the other. And actually, here is spider roll. Looks like we got that one down with spider roll. They need to have a good L-sit and Tutibhasana. Tutibhasana is like the um, yogic form of an L-sit, um, but we just go ahead and say it since most of us um, have some yoga background too, or have at least taken a few classes to know some yoga poses. Um, hence, like getting into like a side star or something like that. You know, we we basically just call out half moon and side star. So. Um, and that's also one. Then here, um, I think we're going for a full foot to hand, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and so, full foot to hand. Nice peak posture here. Looks good. Then she can come back down and sit. Good job, good job. So I always have to explain to flyers sometimes about whether or not um, how to position the foot necessarily. So when you're like positioning that foot, if it's flexed or not flexed in such manners, this is always a fun one. I always forget about this one to like push back into that reverse throne position from straddle bat. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of chest. Um, strength for the for nice, the base. Nice. Flyer doesn't do too much. They just keep their arms straight, and then they get pushed up into that reverse throne positioning. So here, I think we're trying the same thing again. So oh, and this looks like a hand to hand. I'm not sure if this was one that I was able to pull off or not, but I am flying this one. I just have really bad banana back, so have to try and overcome it just a tad bit but Josh is like super super strong so 
<laughs> tried to do an extension there. It came down. It's all good. Yeah, Josh is just so strong, dude. That was crazy. I'm here doing a flag. Fun stuff. I noticed that, like, in my flag positioning now, like, I tend to have, like, a little bit of a belly. <laughs> So I'm going to work on that by doing some running um, here in the next couple of days. I, I recently went out and bought some um, some Newton uh, running shoes, which is for um, ballpoint um, running, toe running. And so I enjoy the ball, uh, like running on the uh, ball of the foot, more or less. Alex trying to push into that hand-to-hand. -hand. Dang, we actually held that one pretty good. We <laughs> and uh, that that was like that was pretty good for uh, a while back. Like, I always have an issue with my right side, my right hand, and um, I think it has to do something with my shoulder. My shoulder. I had a shoulder injury um, a while back uh, from football, and um, never quite healed properly. So there's always been like a just interesting like misalignment um, in my shoulder on my right side at least so sometimes um, when I'm doing extensions have to make sure that I'm properly aligned so that same foot to hand here came out really good so <clears throat> that's why I have uh, some issues sometimes with handstands being able to hold handstands and then also being able to base some of those things too. This is a what we call a two-step. This is two-step here. Um, kind of like a sit and spin or Reno's dream, if you will. But here, just grabbing the opposite leg, sitting down to the other side. Nice. And all the way back to side star starting again. Looks like we went through this one a few times as well. Almost. And then here I'm working a. Um, high or it's actually a um, camel camel into bird I think I think we just did camel so it was camel to um, one-legged camel so let's see how this turns out so we I, I think yeah we got camel and then the one-legged camel was moving weight all the way into another hand Yep, and then the extension, and then picture, and then it looks pretty. Yay! So yeah, that one came out good. That was a good job by us. And then here, working with a friend who currently lives out of the states, um, but she was fun. I'm glad she came to Acro before she moved. So. Going through a straddle bat. And then going into a side star from here. I think I just worked TikToks with her for the most part. But she had a lot of fun. She had a lot of fun. It's good. It's good stuff. So much fun, so much fun. Back to straddle bat and then side star again. Woo! 
And I want to say that that's most of the video, so from here, y'all, I just want to say thank y'all for coming back to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so that way y'all can be updated on all the videos that I have to release to y'all. And thank y'all for coming back. I'll talk to y'all soon.